Welcome, Longmont, to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, October 21. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. The moon this week becomes first quarter on Saturday the 23rd. So right before our snowstorm, spoiler alert, uh, we get to see the first quarter moon. Checking in on drought still. Well, it's, it's very obvious that drought is continuing and still worsening. This is last week's with some only lighter levels of drought here, some pretty severe drought out in the west. And if we go to this week, we've lost ground right around the I-25 area in the, the plains. So we need water. That's just no secret. Uh, looking at the entire U.S., everything west of the Mississippi is looking pretty dry to extremely dry. So we, we have a pattern change coming. If it holds, then this will start to lessen over the next month or so. That's what we got to hope for. We did get a little bit of rain over this last week, ha happened earlier in the week with some showers where moisture got lifted up by the mountains. We have nothing on this side of the divide worth speaking about. And what we have going now is a big broad trough over most of the nation. We have this mean dip center someplace out in the middle of the U.S. for the next week and beyond. We have quick moving shortwave troughs, kicking up winds, bringing in some clouds. So that's what we see on Tuesday. But really, overall, the winds are coming out of the northwest, going to the southeast. And that's also the direction where the smoke from the fires are, is blowing. This flow is starting to bring in more Pacific moisture. So this is coming straight off of the uh, northern Pacific. And you can see the high clouds there, the whites and purples and blues. Some of the, those colorations are icy uh, clouds, high cirrus clouds. They don't mean rain for us yet, but uh, it's nice to see some moisture coming back. The real dry air now is south of us across Arizona, New Mexico, and to Texas. So there's our wind direction and the local fires of the Cameron Peak and the fires just west of Boulder with the smoke going right over Denver, Longmont, Loveland, Fort Collins. So it's local though, the big fires out in the west that is being suppressed down to the south and dragged up with that dry air to the south of us. So yeah, we just need to get these things put out and fast. And this is your hope. This is the big storm right here, coming in on Saturday night through Sunday, Monday, and a little bit beyond. And some models keep it sitting around into Tuesday. That may be a little overdone. We go from a normal high of 63 down to 60, 35 down to 32. So now we're normally hitting freezing at night. So we're, we're definitely getting through fall and, and beginning to approach winter. And temperatures are still above normal. At the beginning of the period, we get a good hit of cold air Thursday night into Friday with our first cold front. Just a little shower activity possible. Again, this is an ensemble run, so the, the computer model runs with varying uh, data and varying uh, emphasis on the physics going on just to see how solid the storm is. And that's not a very solid storm with only one run really showing any rain. But then the next cold front comes in Saturday afternoon and it brings in a really good chance of rain and snow. You can see temperatures go below freezing on Saturday and stay below freezing all the way into the beginning of next week. So this is some temperatures going down to the around single digits. We're talking really cold, we're talking very moist, we're talking mostly snow falling in this event. The winds are a concern right now. If any fronts like the Thursday front, when it comes in, it's going to kick up uh, some strong winds. That's the red coloration on the map here. Uh, this is northeast winds, though, and the, the hope is, at least down here, it's actually coming out of the northwest again, but the, for the northern rocky fires, that that will sort of blow the fires back over some previously burnt ground. So it won't have new fuel to, to work with except on the southern edges. So this should be brief. We got maybe a 12 hour period of, of stronger winds before things calm down again. Looking out in the next 10 days, this is the Thursday trough traveling by, 
Most of the energy is staying north of the state, so we just get the winds. Then the flow is straight west to east until we move into Saturday and Sunday. And look at the size of this trough digging down all the way into the Four Corners area, bringing lots of cold air, getting to tap some moisture from the Gulf coming in. And then that finally passes out on Wednesday off to the east. Big Ridge out west, but another trough seems to be nudging its way in. Taking a look at precipitation through this time, of course for Thursday, the front going by to the north brings a lot of snow to Montana and the northern Dakotas, but slips on by. You can see the cold air spreading down here. Then our storm moves in for Saturday night. It pretty much starts the snow because the cold air is coming in. We have upslope flow for a day and a half after that. Cold, high pressure center traveling right down I-25 for a little bit there. So this is looking really good. The models, different models are agreeing. The TV stations are going ahead and calling it where we have a storm coming. So this is the best of the storm. This is uh, Monday morning. and see snow uh, over the entire eastern plains. And we can watch these bursts of cold air over this next week. So here comes the Thursday cold air. We don't get rain or, or snow, but we definitely get very cold uh, air right down, cut off by the altitude of the Rockies. Cold air is dense, it stays close to the earth. Here comes our Sunday, Monday cold. That one's so big that it does cross the Rockies, goes all the way down, and even brings cold air into Arizona deep down into Mexico, probably making a Mexico a city. This is a really strong cold front uh, traveling down. So for the next 10 days, the amount of liquid precipitation, melted snow, any little bit of rain at the beginning that we get, you know, is going to total about a half inch to maybe three quarters of an inch right around Longmont. We have spots up here getting up to about an inch of liquid. But the snow is the interesting one because it puts us in about the four, five, six inch uh, area for total snow over the next 10 days. And that really is the Saturday through maybe Tuesday morning time period. But we had snow all the way out into the western slopes. We get snow where all the fires are occurring. This would be really great. Really cold, moist air, snow falling, just what we needed. So looking out for the next seven days, we start abnormally warm Wednesday with the 70s. We begin to feel the cold front when the winds on Thursday with a little chance of rain. Friday, we get our first real good taste of cold weather with 30s for a high. Dry though, Saturday afternoon with a recovery to 60, the next cold front comes bursting down. We have a really good chance. It might even go higher than 50% right now, but uh, I'm being a little conservative. It looks good. Uh, 20s for highs, low 20s for high on Monday, and we might even see single digit temperatures before things dry out and just start to warm up on Tuesday. So for frequent local news and frequent weather updates, take a look at the Longmont Leader. I've been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.